everybody. I'm Laurie. I am a picker. Um, I'm sure you've watched videos if you're watching this one. It's because you're uh, either a picker yourself or interested in getting in to being a picker. Um, they call me the thrifty picker and it's because I spend a lot of time uh, perusing uh, thrift shops. Um, Goodwills, uh, you know, uh, Valley Thrifts, things like, you know, any type of thrift shop. Um, I also like pawn shops, um, flea markets and stuff like that. Um, but a lot of times um, the pawn shops and the, and the flea markets, they, um, they tend to know what it is that they're selling. So you might, every now and then you might find a pretty good deal on something. But um, unless it's just somebody wanting to get rid of something, um, for the most part, if it's a collectible item, they already know what it's worth. So thrift shops are a little bit different. Um, some of them, you know, they put their higher dollar stuff, you know, in the cases and all that. Um, but that's where I started was with thrift shops. And I got back into picking and selling on eBay because um, it seems like all the other things I've tried, um, I always end up going back to eBay. So um, it always makes me money. So I'm just going to stick with it. And um, with, you know, help of friends and family, I think I can do pretty good at it. I probably won't make a million, um, but it does put some extra cash in your pocket, so, and that's what it's all about. Um, I was going to show you some things that I've picked up in the last two weeks um, at thrift shops, and there was one really good thrift shop. I've never, I mean, it's a Goodwill, but I've never been to this kind of Goodwill before. Um, they have these huge bins. I mean, these things are like six foot, eight foot long, five foot wide. And they have them all throughout the store. And um, other than housewares and electronics, I think, and shoes or something like that, you buy by the pound. Uh, so, you know, if it's 69 cents a pound, you know, you get 10 pounds, you're six bucks and ninety six dollars and ninety cents worth of stuff, and it could be little stuff. So, um, just depends on what you get, what you're looking for. Uh, but I picked up a few things at that one and several others over the past two weeks. I probably spent maybe forty maybe fifty dollars tops and I've listed some of this stuff on eBay um, and it's already got watchers and some of it some of it that I have picked up I've already sold so I'm gonna show you what I got left um, so be right back the first piece that I picked up is well not one of the first pieces but the first piece I'm gonna show you is this um, this is from the 1970s um, this is a Fisher Price dump truck um, still in working order it's got the little lever over here um, it's missing a little piece that goes in here it was like a little digger now I had one of these when I was a kid um, in fact I think a lot of kids had these uh, my nephew had them um, we had the backhoe that went with it too um, I picked this up for six dollars um, it's in really good shape and I've already got watchers on it three watchers uh, so good deal then I have this, which it's a little beat up, but it's a Nylant uh, Farm Stables truck. Um, I believe it's the old Bronco style. Um, I think the back drops down too. I'm not sure. Um, it's in pretty rough shape. As you can see, it's missing a grill. It's been smashed in. I paid seven bucks for this, and I probably paid a little bit too much for it. But um, you know, it's also missing the steering wheel. But the good thing is there's collectors out there that also restore these. Um, that's their passion. They take these little die cast toys and they take them apart and they, they restore them just as if it was a actual car, you know, as far as restoration goes. Um, so to the right person, seven bucks is, you know, is a great deal. And that's what I listed at was seven dollars. So I'm trying to make my money back. But if not, I'll put it in my own yard sale. And that's another place, a great place to get uh, items for eBay is yard sales. Now I get a lot of my inspiration from the Redneck Picker on YouTube and I want to say thanks uh, Redneck uh, Picker for all the stuff that um, that you showed that you show everybody so uh, you've been an inspiration to me to uh, get back into what it is I love to do. I love finding old stuff, I love finding good deals, I like making money off of it too so um, here's a couple more things that I picked up at the thrift shop. Um, I picked up these two uh, train cars. Um, they're old. They're probably vintage from the 80s. You know, anything over 20 years is considered vintage. Anything older than that, it's antique. But anyway, um, 
they're in really good shape. They have their all the wheels and the connectors and um, the original boxes, so that's a plus. I think I paid um, two dollars a piece for them, so um, good deal there. Then we have um, these two. We got uh, two model car kits, which on eBay, you know, people buy these up. Um, to buy the parts from them. Even if they're missing parts, they still buy them because there's a lot of people that take these parts and turn them into something totally different. I've already sold one. I got these two on as a lot. Um, but if you see them, hey, you know, for in fact, I got these at the I think I paid maybe 10 cents on average because I got six things. I paid six dollars and some tax. So I paid basically maybe 10 cents for these two things um, that came with this, that particular uh, deal. So, um, you can't beat that, really. I mean, 60 cents for a model that I'll probably make maybe 3 to $5 off of. Um, so, I'm not going to complain. Um, all my stuff. I try, try to keep my, my work area, you know, clutter-free. It's not always easy, but um, if you have a box or something... Uh, that you put your small stuff in so it's not cluttering up your table. That's the best way to do it. And I'm one of those that's anal about stuff like that. A place for everything and everything in its place. Um, they also call me the queen of cram. So anyway, on with what I've gotten. I also picked this up. Um, it's, you know, missing this little handle thingy here. You just have a little piece. But this is uh, from 1962. This is the Fisher Price Mini Lunchbox. Um, it's missing its thermos, which it's got some little farm animals in there that come with it, so I just left them in there. Uh, but I have a watcher from Australia uh, wanting this. They asked me if I would be willing to ship to Australia if they want it, and I was like, yeah, sure. If you win it, yeah, I'll ship it, but uh, you're going to pay for it. But uh, It's a little worse for wear, but there's a lot of collectors out there that like this kind of stuff, so, you know, here you go. I got, um, there's another vintage piece um, it's called the answer, the Tomy answer clock. Um, you know, you set the time or dial or whatever, and you push the push the eyes, and it tells you what time it is. You know, you push this button down here, and it you know, opening up the eyes. It tells you what time it is. You know, this is from the 70s, uh, 1975. Another vintage piece. Now, vintage toys and items, um, they seem to be just flying, in my opinion flying off the shelves you know everybody wants something to remember their childhood and so whenever I see something like this if it's got a good deal on it, I'm gonna pick it up so you got that um, this I loved this um, this is an authentic I don't know if you can see it um, Air Force Blue uh, from the Bancroft uh, cap company uh, military issue um, hat um, it's got the name, rank, and serial number tag in there. Um, it's got the original tag. Um, it's from the U.S. Air Force. It's got its, you know, insignia, the cap insignias, and the side buttons. Fifty cents I paid for that. Fifty cents. Um, couldn't beat that. So, you know, there's a lot of people out there that collect military memorabilia um, and be willing to pay, you know, a good price for that. So that's, you know, that's, that's on eBay. Um, I picked up this right here is a macro lens uh, by Vivitar um, macro focusing unless you get the, those real close up shots I think I paid two bucks for that it's a telescoping lens um, it's got the uh, 75 to 205 millimeter again my dog is seeing something outside you know two bucks it's vintage you know a lot of people collect camera stuff so pick that up speaking of cameras I picked these up I think I paid Hold on a second. I'm kind of tangled up here. Um, I paid two bucks for this one. That's an old Kodak XL55 movie camera, old vintage movie camera. Paid two dollars for that. Paid sixty-nine cents for this one. This is a the vintage uh, Kodak Instamatic. People collect these things. If not to um, use them or repair them, they use them for display. I picked up a couple of them last year. An old Browning Kodak Browning, and I forget what the other one was. And a friend of mine does, she likes the retro look in her home, so I give them to her. And she's got them up on her mantle as decoration pieces. So uh, a lot of decorators look for stuff like this. So if you see them, pick them up. 
I've got uh, this piece right here. I actually bought this last year, and I liked it. And I I paid uh, four dollars for it, I think. But it's in, from the International Silver Company. It's silver plated, and it needs polished up. But it's a nice old vintage, and it may even be antique. I can't find a year on it. Um, but for four dollars, you know, somebody's going to want that. It reminds me of a metal version of the Beauty and the Beast tea, teapot, only a little bit taller. Um, every time I look at it, I expect to see eyes popping out on it. But it's a nice piece. It's got nothing's broke off. Sometimes you find these, and this piece right here is broke off, or this is broke, which is you know the original hinge, um, or it's cracked somewhere, or even one of these is broke off. But this is in really good condition, except for the fact that it needs polished up. Um, so that's going on eBay. Um, I think I pretty much, but yeah, that's, you know, that was my haul, with the exception of the teapot. Everything else I got in the last two weeks. Um, last week, I uh, did exceptionally well uh, with eBay, and I'm hoping to, to continue. Um, you know, I do a lot of things uh, to make a couple extra dollars, but picking and selling on eBay seems to be something I really, really enjoy. Um, so... All I can say is uh, thanks for watching. I hope I can be of help, and I hope to be able to do this every week to show you some new finds and where I found them at. So uh, keep on picking, and stay tuned. Bye. Sways outside in and inside out. I took a rocket ride across the sky a couple times till the fire burned out.